Hi, my name is Andrea. I am a Reiki master and intuitive reader. And today I pulled us some cards for advice on manifesting. So if you have been manifesting something and you need some guidance, you came to the right place. I pulled us one tarot card for each zodiac sign so you can fast forward and listen to the message for your sign. If you know your rising sign and your moon sign, you can also listen to those messages too. So let's get started. So for Aries, I pulled the King of Wands and the message from this card is to trust in yourself and your abilities. You deserve exactly what you want, whatever you're dreaming of, whatever you're working towards, it is a perfect match for you. The most important thing for you is to believe in yourself because the more you believe in yourself, the more whatever you want is going to come to you. If you find yourself worrying or comparing yourself to others, just focus your energy inward and think about how great you are. Write down a list of things that you're really good at. Ask other people if you feel like, I don't know what I'm good at and just really focus on that because that is going to really help you manifest what you want. For Taurus, I pulled the Seven of Wands and the message from this card is to stand your ground and don't conform. It's really important for you to be an individual and to follow your own vision. Don't let anyone talk you out of what you want or what you think your next steps are because you know better than anyone else what you want and what you should be doing. So if you need to set really clear boundaries, only tell certain people about your dreams and your goals, people who believe in you specifically, and just don't conform, do things your own way. Even if it seems like really weird or it won't lead to what you want, if that idea is coming to you, it's for a reason and it's really important that you follow it. For Gemini, I pulled the Queen of Swords and this card is telling you to pursue your passions and ideas without worry. It's so important for you right now to just keep going with whatever you're doing and to not let other people influence you. Don't apologize for being you because it's so important that you are yourself in order for whatever you're manifesting to manifest. Right now, being honest with yourself is really going to help the manifestation process, so the more you can do that, the better. For Cancer, I pulled the Six of Cups, and your message is to stop and enjoy the moment. It's so important right now to just recognize where you're at and to savor it and enjoy it. This card indicates that you're probably at about the halfway point for your manifestation, and so it's time for a break. It's time to just sit back and relax for a little bit. Know that when you do this, it will not halt the manifestation process. It'll actually speed it up because once you've enjoyed the moment and really appreciate where you're at, you'll be able to move forward. For Leo, I pulled the Three of Swords and this card's message is to forgive yourself and others. So this card signals that there is a past situation or emotions related to a past situation that's delaying your manifestation. So it's really important to get clear on what that is. You can journal, you can talk to someone, you can meditate. And then once you identify what that might be, forgiveness is really going to be the thing that shifts the energy. And once that forgiveness is given and that energy is shifted, there's gonna be a huge door, a huge opening that will allow whatever you want to come in, to come into your life. For Virgo, I pulled the Four of Pentacles and the message for this card is to loosen your grip on what you want. It's so important right now to trust that things are happening behind the scenes because they are. You've set your intention, you've placed your order with the universe, and now it's working on your behalf to get it to get it done, to get it to you. So if you find yourself worrying, if you have obsessive thoughts, if you're wondering like how it's gonna happen, try and release that and let it go and trust that it definitely is coming to you. For Libra, I pulled the full and the message is to take a leap of faith. So for you, the only thing that's holding you back from your manifestation is fear. That's the only thing. And so if you have an opportunity to 
take a leap of faith, to step into the new, to step into the unknown, that is going to be huge for you. And it will shift things around you so that whatever you want will be there like that because you're sending a signal out to the universe that you want what you want and you're making moves to get it. So take that leap of faith and watch what you want come right to you. For Scorpio, I pulled the Page of Wands and the message from this card is to focus on the process of manifesting. It's really important to get really clear and solid in what you want and then to create a really well thought out plan, prioritize what you need to get done and then implement the plan, but have fun doing it. It's really important to combine your passion for what you want with the logic and the practical side of things that is going to just bring magic to your situation so have fun doing it plan it all out and watch what you want appear right in front of you for Sagittarius I pulled the high priestess and this cards message is that all of the answers are inside of you so if you have been searching for answers or worrying or doubting or wanting to know the next step, you already know what it is. You may not want to admit it to yourself. You may doubt what's coming to you, but it's absolutely the right thing to do. So if you feel like you can't connect with whatever it is that you need to connect to, you can do a few things. You can go out into nature and just listen and, and receive and look for signs. You can meditate, you can journal, you can talk to a friend and just like see what comes out of your mouth because you already know it's inside of you. You just have to practice to get it out there and trust yourself that you have the right information. For Capricorn, I pulled the Four of Wands and this card's message is to celebrate yourself. This is not a time to be modest. This is not a time to just like head down, keep working. You need to stop and you need to say, I am amazing, look at everything that I've done. That energy in doing that is gonna shift everything. You've already done so much, you've already come so far, and if you ignore that, you're not gonna be able to move forward. So take time, celebrate yourself, and then get back to whatever it is that you're doing to manifest what you want. For Aquarius, I pulled the King of Pentacles and this card's message is to be patient with your goals. This card shows you have done a ton of work. You have probably done a ton of planning and if you haven't, then like you should. And it's just a recognition for what you want. When this card comes up, it shows that what you want is possible and you can absolutely have it. You just have to keep working step by step, bit by bit, and you just have to be really patient because it may take some time to build what you want or get what you want, but it will be so worth it in the end. For Pisces, I pulled the Page of Cups and this card is telling you to bring more playfulness into your life. If you are too serious, your manifestation is not that it's not gonna come, it's just gonna take longer. So it's really important to be playful, get creative, draw on your imagination, and just have fun with life. Because when you're having fun, that's gonna be reflected back to you and you're gonna really enjoy manifesting whatever it is that you're manifesting. The more fun that you bring into your life, the faster what you want will come to you and the more enjoyable the process will be. Those are all of the cards. I hope that you enjoyed your messages. I hope that they were helpful. If you have requests for other readings, let me know. I'm trying to make a lot more videos. If you like this video, like and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when I post new videos. And I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. This can be on the blooper reel. Into your life. That was weird. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? And to not apologize for who, <laughs> not engage with what other people, no, that's not even what I wanted to say. Oh my Lord. <laughs>
Take five million. That one might have been weird. Was it? I don't know. That's take one. <laughs>